the Staten Island Jane Doe, 1991, identified as Christine Belusco. In this case, a woman was found on Staten Island, New York, on a vacant lot in September of 1991, although the day found differs from source to source. It was either on the 19th or the 20th of September. She had shoulder-length hair that was curly, as well as brown eyes. She was wearing a black knit dress that had some pink color and pink pockets. She was wearing Tom McCann sneakers in a size 8. She also had on an 18-inch hair bone necklace and a 20-inch gold rope chain. She had a ring with an expandable band that contained a small watch face, and it was black in color. When they examined her, they discovered she had a scorpion tattoo, and this was on the left cheek of her rear end. That seemed to be the best lead, but still no one recognized it. When the authorities arrived, they discovered that someone had taken a hammer to her, and that was the COD, and she's described as still smoldering when the police arrived. So it appears someone used fire to try to avoid identification. She was also noted as being handcuffed. She was identified on March 22, 2023, as a 30-year-old woman named Christine Blusco. She wasn't from terribly far away from New York or from the borough of Staten Island. She was actually missing from Clifton, New Jersey. So while it looks like she's missing from another state, that part of New Jersey is not far away from New York. People travel into the city for work from this New Jersey suburb. There is an incredibly sad element to this case that is included in at least two other Doe cases that I can remember. When her identification happened, it came out that she had a two-year-old daughter named Krista Nicole, or at least she was two in 1991, meaning that child would be 33 years old today if she's still alive. The police are now looking for and seeking Krista Nicole. She went missing with her mom, and no one knows where she is. I'm not sure it's even 100% that she was with her mother on the day that it happened. The police would say, We have already notified the family of her death, and we continue to make all efforts to locate Krista Nicole so we can let her know who her mother was and what had been done to bring justice to this case. So it's a little bit confusing as to whether or not she was with her mom at the time. It sort of implies that she wasn't and that maybe she'd been adopted or is with a father or some other circumstances. If something else happens before I finalize the video, I'll leave an editor's note. Christine Belusco went unidentified for 31 years. Had she lived, Christine would be 61 today. The DeKalb County Jane Doe, identified as Rebecca Becky Burke. On September 17, 1993, a woman was found behind the Fairfield Inn, which is a hotel in Cobb County, Georgia, located on Ranchwood Drive near La Vista Road and I-285. They knew very little about her. She had a gold bridge permanently affixed in her mouth and two gold crowns. She'd also had a full hip replacement, and they believe this was done to repair a fracture that happened to her left hip. They were thinking she'd been in a pretty major accident, possibly involving a vehicle. Additionally, she had osteoporosis and low bone density, as well as a lack of muscle mass. She had long curly brown hair that was frosted, which is a way of highlighting hair that was popular back in the early 90s. Women would have their hair pulled through a cap with a crochet hook, and then the hair is basically bleached, which, at least in my case, came out to be a lot lighter blonde hair color than caramel highlights of today. 
and they do seem to be wider in the pictures. So I suspect it's that case with everybody. Nowadays, we pretty much do caramel highlights. So if you see the frosting in these cases, which it's in quite a few, that's what they're talking about. They didn't know who she was, but they did make clear that her life was possibly taken by Larry Dwayne Hall, who I've mentioned too many times on here. It's believed he's responsible for 45 women or more in the 80s and 90s, coinciding with Civil War memorial reenactments. That's all I'm going to say about him. If anyone's interested, it's Larry Dwayne Hall that you would need to Google. Although this is being mentioned in multiple articles saying that it could have been him, they don't even know for sure. It seems like a lot of these are guesses. They do know that her shirt had been pulled over her head and her jeans were unfastened and unzipped at the waist although they couldn't prove that an essay happened. They estimated her to be 20 to 40 and around 5 foot 4 to 5 foot 7. It was her DNA that would solve the puzzle, though, on March 22nd, 2023. We know now that her age estimates was off the top portion by 12 years. Becky Burke was 52 when her life was taken. She'd gone missing from Cobb County, Georgia, before ending up in Tucker, Georgia, which is in DeKalb County. They need people to come forward to try to trace her movements. So if anyone knows anything, please call the number on your screen. Rebecca Burke went unidentified for 29 years. Had she lived, she'd be 81 today. The Tiff County Jane Doe, identified as Crystal Hendricks. 27-year-old Crystal Hendricks disappeared from Omega, Georgia. The mother of two was eight months pregnant in March of 2013. There are a couple different explanations for what happened, so because I don't know for sure which is true, I'm going to give you both versions. One is that on Friday, March 8, 2013, Christy didn't pick up her two children from school, and it was the kids' school who would report her missing. Another story is that an anonymous caller tipped the police off although the school was also concerned when she didn't show up. No version tells me what I want to know more than anything, where the two kids are now and if they're okay. We do know that it turned out she hadn't spoken to her mother in several years, though by 2016, it was her mom who pushed really hard to keep this story in the news. Then on another Friday, this time August 19th, 2020, the Tiff County Sheriff would receive a request to assist in an investigation. They were called out to 456 Urbana Road in Omega, Georgia. This is located in Tiff County, and this is where Christy went missing from. Someone had finally found her remains, although her family wouldn't know this yet. The COD isn't listed, nor are the details of who the father was of either of the children or the unborn child. Anyone close to Christy needs to call in what they knew was going on in her life at the time. Not only does she deserve an answer to this, so do three children, whether or not the one that was to be born in a month survived. Anyone with information related to this investigation is encouraged to call the Tiff County Sheriff's Office or the Sylvester GBI Office at 229-777-2080. Crystal Hendricks was missing for 10 years, almost to the day. She was an unidentified Jane Doe for two had she lived, she'd be 37 years old today. If the baby somehow survived, that child would be 10 years old today. As always, thank you so much for watching. The current goal for the channel is 20,000 subscribers. Please consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss new episodes. Thank you so much to everybody commenting. Even with just an emoji, it really has made a big difference. Without it, there isn't a channel. So thank you guys so much. Take care of yourselves and each other.